This 18-year-old TikToker thought it would be a fantastic idea to film himself committing crimes on camera for social media clout by chasing people in the street while wearing a balaclava asking them if they want to die. Yo, so it's you. Where are you going from? Well, it's you with the glasses. Well, yeah, do not die. What? 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 Oh, no, no, it's no, basically, man, saw you from over there, yeah? Take a seat. Take a seat, bro. Man, just saw you from over there, innit, yeah? And you look like you wanted to um, get a dye. But it's just hair dye. No, dye is hair dye, bro. It's just hair dye. Wow, that's hysterical. Get into random houses, let's go. James? Come to the front door right now, please. James? James? James. Hi. You man, come. Hello, James. We need to speak to James. James? Hi. Hi. Um, James. Is this right, where the study group is? Study no. group? No. What the numbers this? No. Home invading a family with young children. Bro, that's so humorous. You should do stand up. Interesting, isn't it, how not a single one of the targets of his pranks ever realizes that it's a prank. <laughs> Almost like living in London, they're very much used to having to be constantly aware of being targeted by real criminals with malicious intent. Just get the fuck away. For Mizzy, young women and their puppies are also easy prey. Uh, hello. Hi. You got a nice dog? Sorry? You got a nice dog? She's lovely, she's she's a family dog. Bing gang, whole lot of gangs. We are side! We are side! <laughs> we also <laughs> we all got this fucking dog. He also likes to touch young women's hair while asking them if they want to die. You got some nice hair. It's nice and luscious. Do you wanna die? Oh. I asked him a question, a serious question. Do you wanna die? No. I speak. I'm talking to you, bro. No. You don't wanna die. Again, the world hasn't seen a comic genius of this caliber since Bill Hicks or Richard Pryor. Mizzy has also inspired his diverse fan base to organise flash mobs of looters who like to ransack stores. No! 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 Prank. I mean, fair enough. If any of Mizzy's pranks were in any way funny, satirical, or a facilitator for social commentary, but they're not. They consist entirely of just frightening people and acting like an obnoxious little twat. Take this stunt where he walks into a library and starts ripping up books. All right, boom, we're in the library. I'm sorry, I'm let's go. Oh, excuse me, what can I, um, get a book here? Oh. Uh, I just got a book. Can I get this book, please? Alright, okay, just one minute. Um, that's, this is not, if I can get books from the library, why can't I rip the pages out of the books as well? Because then other people can't use them. So, do, who gives a fuck about other people? Can you get this? Sorry. Okay. Can you get Adam, please? Again, hilarious. Maybe if Mizzy's age matched his behaviour and he was an eight-year-old kid, it might be cute. It isn't. But speaking of something that's genuinely cute, look at this little fella. He's only eight weeks old. He's too young and quite frankly, too fluffy to need a proper skincare routine. Ooh. Me, on the other hand, well, that's a very different story. At my age, I need all the help I can get. That's why I'm excited to have Tiege Hanley as the sponsor of today's video. Tiege Hanley simplifies the process of taking care of your skin. They provide you with all the products you need and nothing you don't. Implementing a quality skincare routine will improve your confidence in all aspects of your life. This is important stuff, so I recommend you start with their level one system, which comes with all the basics. A daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturiser with SPF 20 and a PM moisturiser. I've been using Tej Hanley for months now and it's left my skin feeling fresh, supple and revived each and every morning. Ooh, nice. But you don't just have to take my word for it because they have over 7,000 five-star reviews from customers around the globe. In addition to amazing skin, members of Tej Hanley get tons of benefits, including at least 20% off the retail price, pause or cancel at any time and free US shipping. And because Tish Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click the first link in the description down below and you'll get a massive 30% off your first box 
and a free gift. Don't you dare miss out on this incredible deal. Click that link and get started today. Now back to the video. Despite being exposed as perhaps the most annoying little prick to ever grace the internet, Mizzy was unrepentant, saying it was all worth it for the clout. I don't let things affect me because you guys are on social media giving me what I want basically at the end of the day. You're commenting on these videos, you're engaging, you're posting me more, sharing me everywhere. It's just making my thing blow up. We are going viral lads. Going more viral viral than I've been in the past like two, three years. And it was all made possible by the cancer on society that is TikTok. From human trafficking to dangerous TikTok challenges that have led directly to children killing themselves to the sexualization of kids. Although it has clamped down on the most dangerous thing to exist ever right-wing political opinions, so the media largely gives it a pass. Mizzy's luck finally ran out, though, after he was arrested for picking on the wrong person. He filmed himself assaulting Orthodox Jews in Stamford Hill, an area of London with a large Jewish population, by leapfrogging over their backs in the street. <laughs> Mizzy fucked around and found out. Police held the TikToker for 36 hours before charging him with racially aggravated assault. But the cops went soft and he only ended up being charged with the far lesser crime of criminal damage. Just yesterday, Mizzy posted a video of a police officer reading out a list of crimes he'd committed that's as long as your arm, but crucially, the teenager's offensive behaviour doesn't seem to have challenged any of the sacred narratives. He's no threat to the message. So unlike some people in the UK who get years in prison for mean tweets, expect Mizzy to get away with a slap on the wrist. But in a stunning coincidence, the media and MPs only really went after Mizzy after they had the ingenious idea of exploiting his antics to justify passing the online safety bill. An odious piece of legislation working its way through Parliament that targets free speech via the back door. Under which social media giants would have to remove, at the threat of being hit with massive fines, lawful but nebulously characterised, quote, harmful speech. There's been a big struggle over whether that definition will be included in the final version, but left-wing parties are also lobbying to have health-related misinformation and disinformation included, as well as all manner of other sneak attacks that would extinguish freedom of expression. MPs warn vile prankster that new law will force social media sites to delete his videos. Paul Scully, Minister for Tech and Digital Economy, has warned TikTok that the forthcoming online safety bill will mean social media companies would have to delete the content. Oh, that must mean the online safety bill is a good thing then. But wait, TikTok and all the other platforms already ban content that encourages or enables criminal behaviour. We don't need more laws to stop what's already forbidden. They're blatantly just hijacking the anger generated by Mizzy's clout chasing to once again legitimise mass censorship of controversial speech. Meanwhile, seems with all the attention he's getting, Mizzy needs a safe space. Maybe a theatre in a diverse part of East London could lend a helping hand. The Theatre Royal Stratford East will stage a BLM-inspired play which white people have been told not to attend. The organisers want an all black audience so they can be protected from the evil white gays. Yes, diversity apparently means no white people allowed. In the middle of the play, the two main characters stage an impromptu hip-hop concert before going on to become Black Lives Matter activists. Yeah, I don't think I'm missing out on much. The irony being, of course, that the only people in London who would attend such a play are white, middle-class, and white, guilt-ridden shit-libs. Good job it's for one night only. <laughs> Get early access to videos, exclusive live streams, and personally DM me. You've seen how much I get demonetized all the time. Well, this is how you support me. By subscribing at pauljosephwatson.locals.com. Please click the link in the description.